Hello, beautiful people. My name is Key, and I'm a technical marketing engineer for Humio. I got a super quick question. Do you know what owls and Kubernetes have in common? Without the right tools, they're both victims of life-changing blind spots. Now, owls don't move their eyes at all, which is super cool. They look straight ahead and use their expansive field of view to see broadly. So with, uh, without that rich view, owls will be limited in their ability to find prey, navigate, and even protect themselves. And in the case of Kubernetes, there are also some things that if going unused, your organization will also have issues from simply being unaware of what you can't see. With Kubernetes being used to scale operation of containerized microservice architectures, mass amounts of data metrics, or just general metrics, my apologies, are being delivered on a continuous basis. And that continuous stream of data damages the possibility of ensuring performance of your IT footprint. That's especially the case if you don't have the proper tools in place to pinpoint that missing data. Now, as some of you may already know, Kubernetes is no longer the newest tech on the block, However, it can still be very difficult to manage in complex environments, which alludes to the term being blind. Now, although tough to manage at scale, there are some options. And for more context, we're gonna jump over to the light board. Let's go. So out of the box, you can examine app performance in a Kubernetes cluster by keeping an eye on components like containers, which are basically the couple apps. Or you can even think about pods that are the smallest unit of the Kubernetes um, architecture. Or you can even look at services, which are just expose apps, or I'm sorry, that basically exposes apps as a network service in your cluster. Now, in addition to these native components, there are a gang of Kubernetes management solutions that are available in the market as well that can be super helpful with the management of these things. So when you think about a terminal-based resource dashboard, K9S is perfect. And let me go to pink because you're not gonna see orange, right? So you have K9S or more traditional view. Then also, if you're looking for something that's open source um, that has the ability to identify things that are on the cloud or on-premise, you can also consider Rancher. And lastly, if you're looking for something that acts as a package manager for your Kubernetes uh, environment, you can also think about, you know, as well. All right. So these tools are perfect. They're great for specific reasons um, that may be beneficial to you and your group. First, with K9S, great for custom commands. When you think about Rancher, Rancher is an awesome solution when it comes to security policy enforcement and even Helm, which is great for app deployment as well. So if you need some help there, here are three solutions that are great for the management of these core components. Now, if I really want to be clear with this, I also want to say that in addition to the in, in addition to management, there's also more that can be done to assist with highlighting blind spots. And the word observability has probably flown by your ear a few times recently. And a part of achieving observability is enabling a layer of automation when it comes to pulling in metrics from the entirety of your IT stack. Not only that, but also deploying new workloads as well. By combining a log management solution like Humio and Kubernetes, you're equipped to do both. So why not? Like that, I think that's super cool. So let's talk a little bit more about what that looks like. Lunar is a digital only bank out of Orhus, Denmark, and is an industry disruptor due to their cloud-born attributes. At Lunar, Kubernetes is the engine behind their use of Humio. And by using the Humio operator for Kubernetes, the uplift needed to manage the deployment is completely removed. Now, I used a new word. I, I apologize. Let me let me get another color. So some of you may be asking, okay, Key, you're talking about Kubernetes, you're talking about these native components, but what is an operator? So an operator is simply a method of packaging, deploying, and managing a Kubernetes app. There you go. You got it in your back pocket. You're a quick learner. <laughs> some of the automations that Lunar can take advantage of with this operator include things like being able to easily install Humio, product upgrades, and deal with change configs. Now on Thursday, February 3rd, Lunar's web architect Bjorn Sorensen will deliver an hour long session that will cover more about the reasoning behind using Humio's and Kubernetes together. He'll also be joined by Grant Schofield, which is Humio's head of infrastructure and CrowdStrike CTO, Michael Santoni. Look, I'm excited to learn more alongside you. Make sure you take a few seconds to get signed up using the link included. We'll see you there.